Hey guys, Silence Sailor here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video with me. As you can see on the main menu, we have brand new banners for the current event. And when that happens, it means we have a brand new Gacha. So this time around, the event is all about nostalgia. As you can see, we have Basara and uh, Milane in Minmei and Hikaru's um, Do You Remember Love costume because of that particular episode in Macross 7. But before all this guys, I need to lay on you a pro tip. Um, hopefully, you guys have not done so foolishly like I have. Um, claim all the New Year tickets for the Chaos Exchange. Um, because, well, this current event is a high score challenge event. And the plates within the Chaos Exchange are high score episode plates so this is the ticket i'm talking about hopefully you guys still have uh enough tickets for an exchange right now um to help you guys with the current event if not um well i guess um we have some hard work to do so <laughs> hey guys uh, let's take a look at the um exchange itself and the three episode plates within the gacha uh no not, not gacha i mean the uh, exchange banner itself now if you're wondering which episode plate is the one that's going to help you let's take a look at the event itself and let's take a look at the song for this current event as you can tell straight away off the bat the event is of the star element or well the yellow song so we need an episode plate of the same element or color to help us with the high score challenge itself and since there are only three of them well milane is the obvious choice because she is of the same color and of course well she does give a high score a, um active skill boost so <laughs> yeah so this is the plate that you really really want to change for because of the active skill but um, it might not be the best high score um, episode plate that you can probably use there are better plates than this one this is just an older version so it's just an alternative method um, um, you know for newer players and uh, older players that probably don't have the better option to go with so this plate is pretty much your best deal um, so hopefully you guys did not um, fully redeem all your tickets just yet. Hopefully you guys still have an, a choice to do so. But of course, there is always another option in terms of choosing which episode plate to redeem. And that is um, depending on the costume points um, that is available for those three costumes that are attached to those plates itself. Um, because, well... You will definitely want to redeem the episode plate that you will have the least amount of points to unlock the large episode op um, that is used for unlocking your costumes. If you guys don't know what an uh, episode op is, let me just refresh you guys uh, about it. So this is the episode op. Okay, it is basically used, like I said earlier, to um, give costume points to the costumes that you re require unlocking um, of course these are not easy to come by so choose wisely the episode plate um, that you want to obtain or exchange for um, because they have the points to give you that large episode up um, at the end of the 1200 points for the costume itself so guys choose wisely hopefully you guys um, have not used up your tickets just yet so you either exchange it for your high score challenge or you exchange it for the large episode op um, or maybe even to unlock costumes that belong to these episode plates if you have not unlocked them just yet so guys let's dive down to the main event which is the banner for Basara's brand new costume uh, we're gonna take a look and see whether this particular episode plate is worth all your singing stones or physical cash if you plan to invest into it or not so let's take a look at the episode plates oh so we do have 
um yeah i'm pressing it all wrongly right here so hey guys uh, we do have an exclusive plate and of course there is this plate here uh, that most people are talking about the way it is designed because it is a mirror image to another episode plate uh whoops um that belongs to minmei and hikaru which which has the exact same image just that it's mirrored uh with milane and basara in it let me just um go and find that particular episode plate that i'm talking about um let's see here so yeah this episode plate is mm, a pretty old plate um and a not a very useful one so i wonder where it is um let me see it's a pretty common plate so i should have it fully evolved where is it ah okay okay there it is so yeah this is the plate i'm talking about here we go so it's exactly the same um just that it's mirrored with um yeah minmei and hikaru instead so yeah very fascinating nostalgia factor for the fans um pretty interesting so yeah, let's dive back into the gacha banner itself. I think we've delayed this uh, a bit too long. <laughs> Oops, uh, tap the wrong button there. Okay, so here we go. Alright, so let's take a look at the episode plate itself and see whether it's actually worth your money. Alright, here we go. So first thing first, um, the four divas equipable with this particular episode plate. I'm pretty surprised that Milane is actually included um, as one of the people who can equip it. I mean, cause maybe she's in the picture itself. But anyways, uh, 3,327 total score, 2,030 for the soul. Um, pretty interesting because it's a, ele a yellow element plate uh, that is focusing on soul. Um, there is a bit more boost in charm um, and voice is lowered, low, lowered below normal I guess uh, in the past when it focuses on one particular type the rest will probably be well balanced like around 600 or so so this is the first where voice uh, puts more points into charm yeah so anyway center skill unit so is increased by 90% up um, this is pretty interesting because this is the first of its kind, I think. 90% uh, is pretty high. Normally, we don't get that high of a value. So, yeah, do take note of that. Um, especially when it comes to high score purposes. Active skill, for 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. Um, definitely, we are looking at the similarity of the old Milane plate that you can exchange from the Chaos Exchange. Um, so, definitely... Here is the main selling factor at the 35 second mark for 12 seconds your combos do not break so all three skills in total so far for this episode plate beats Milane's old plate hands down so with this said this plate is definitely one of Basara's better episode plates um, definitely a must get um, for any use um, high score purposes use and even life skill usage when it comes to tackling that second event of the month where you need to um, clear missions to gain points and all that kind of stuff oops okay so um yeah so the last page is the pretty important thing which is this one uh, if you guys can't read the kanji, it basically says kogeki. So what does this note actually do? It's a very important note. Um, it actually appears during the Valkyrie attack phase where you do more damage to the opponent. So this is very crucial right now because in the last few events, we have been seeing difficulty or challenges um, that have increased the um, enemy's health or have made them a bit more difficult to clear. Uh, just to activate Cho Utahime mode. So this is definitely a must uh, have episode played with this note included because it is an all-rounder, it is useful as a high score plate, it is useful for uh, life skill support and of course it is very useful because it can tackle hard to kill enemies during Valkyrie attack phases. So fantastic plate 
um, for Basara and Milan fans, I would highly recommend you to gain this plate because of its um, very nicely drawn illustration of uh, episode plate. And of course, for Basara fans, maybe you want it because it's one of his better few episode plates out there. For hardcore players, definitely it is a must uh, obtain episode plate. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna toss my total full amount of 1000 singing stones into this gacha because I want to try and obtain this plate. Uh, if I don't get it now, maybe in the future when it re, uh, resurfaces and uh, reissuing gacha, uh, I definitely will try and get it again. Um, yeah, so let's do this. I'm gonna do two template pulls. So as usual, we know what we want to see. Hopefully, um, the luck will be better or pretty normal because since the beginning of the year until now, all my tools have been rather strange. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, not a single plane. Oh no. Oh, we do get a red box though, so that's not too bad. Two red boxes. Okay, that's fine. Um, so here we go. Oh, is this a new plate? Oops. Oh no. <laughs> I accidentally tapped it too fast. I'm sorry, guys. Uh... <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. So, uh, seeing the Zentraldim plate right after Ranka's plate, that is, uh, that is just hilarious. Really, really hilarious. <laughs> okay, so we do get duplicates of the, I think, brand new plate. So hopefully we do get enough points for Basara's costume. Here we go, the second red box. Oh, Seika Hiko. Okay. Um, I'm not complaining because uh, duplicate plates for a uh, fully evolved five star. I think it's uh, I think it's pretty okay. Uh, we do need that luck uh, factor. Secret bots are knocking, you know that kind of stuff. So anyway, let's exit out. Gonna refresh the luck. Hopefully, it gives us better, um, you know, stuff by doing so. So here we go guys, the second last uh, wait, no, last round, not second last. I have no more singing stones for any more of this. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. Touch the screen. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we do get five planes, so that's uh hopefully we oh we hopefully we do get to see a rainbow box. Okay, so no rainbow box, but we do get two red boxes. Uh, usually, five Valkyries do tend to mean that one of the red boxes might evolve into a rainbow one. So, I'm just hoping for it. Here we go, the first one. So, the first one didn't evolve. We do get max though, so that's not too bad. Um, okay, more repeats from those plates. Here we go, keep going. Oh, the nonsensical junk. And the second red box. Oh, no evolution. Oh, but we do get an exclusive plate. Hmm. So does five Valkyries also mean that there is a high chance for an exclusive plate instead of a six star or five star plate? I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, I still need to figure out on the theory of all these Valkyries. Uh, so anyway, guys. That's it for today. Hopefully you guys find all this information useful. Let me know by the, hitting the like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, Utah Macross Gacha video. Bye!